Hi! I wanted to do some recording today, but it is super windy out, so I probably won't do a lot. But this is what I am going to be doing. I'm going to be planting up some pole beans on the far side of my herb garden. And then I also have two mint plants to split and pot up in the ground in pots, like you saw in my herb um, <clears throat> tour video. So, right here, I have a trellis set up for my pole beans. Well, no, they're runner beans, not pole beans. Um, and the variety I'm going to be growing is um, Scarlet Runner. And I saved these from last year, and we have them for sale in our shop as well. But. <clears throat> Here's the seed. It's really purple and black speckled and it gets these really bright red blooms that the hummingbirds really like. So that's why I am planting them by my herb bed and outside my back door so that to attract the hummingbirds. And then you can see here and behind this pelagonium are two of my mints already planted and then I'll probably place one here and there. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I might do some other stuff, depends on the time, but that's what I'll do and I'll see you later. I am just about ready to plant the very last of my onions and I thought I'd show you how we do it. We start all our onions from seed and we use this tall pot so that they can get long roots and then we just kind of sprinkle them in there so that they're fairly thick. Although we have noticed if they're a little thinner they, the bulbs get bigger faster. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so that's how we start them. We start them in about March, and this is where they're at now. And all I do, normally I would use two hands, but I don't have a tripod yet. So here's the root system. You can see it goes down really far. And all I do when I plant is I kind of loosen up that root ball. and pull one out. Okay, so this is the bed I'm going to put them in. I have some started over here already and carrots on the other side. I did want to note that we planted them by the beans and really we shouldn't have done that. Beans and onions don't love to be next to each other due to, um, but we put them in before we remembered so that's how it goes. Um, so when I plant, I plant in a grid. You can kind of see it here. It kind of goes every other. So I'm going to start at the end and I just, I'm going to put it over a little bit. Uh, I put my trowel in, dig a hole like that. Then I set the onion in and cover the dirt around it. And that's how I plant onions. I already have a huge bed here planted and we have shallots in this bed behind the garlic there. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you later.
Today I went shopping for a few things, but of course I had to stop at the local nurseries. So this little clip is going to be what I bought. Okay, the first place I stopped was um, a nursery called Keskis, which is local, small, family owned. Um, and so what I first picked out was Princess Louise Oriental Poppy. Right now I have Ladybird Oriental Poppy blooming and it's a bright, vibrant red, almost orange. Actually, a couple of them are orange. Um, but I wanted one for my pink bed, so I got this one. <laughs> uh, next, I got a cit citronella pelagonium, scented pelagonium, smells like citronella. And I'll probably take some cuttings for this one to have some more. I want to have this around my deck to hopefully keep the mosquitoes at bay there and also around the water butt that I have on there to keep the mosquitoes away. Um, I'm also gonna, I haven't showed you that, but I, I need to create a screen to set over top so they can't lay eggs in and hatch and then there's mosquitoes on the deck and it's just horrible. So this plant plus the screen is gonna hopefully help keep them away. We'll see how it goes. And then finally I got a Lavender Stoicus or Lavendula Stoicus. I was really excited to see this one um, because it's it's the lavender that gets the little bunny ears on top. Um, and it's just really cute. And blooms. The picture in the pot their kind that was a hybrid that was bluish purple um, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be a pink one or a purple one we're just gonna have to see so I'm really excited about that I will have to bring it in during the winter because it's not hardy for our zone but I'm okay with that uh, so yeah yay next I bought this hosta I kind of I wouldn't say I'm a hostaholic, but I really yeah. like pasta and I love, um, I bought this forms and textures and kind of, I wouldn't say I'm a hostaholic, but I really love hosta and I love, um, all the different forms and textures and colors there are right now. Uh, yeah. I have a, I have several, I don't know, maybe... 20 varieties here and there and I have mini ones I have big ones so I bought this one over my birthday weekend when my parents were here my mom and I saw this and we were like oh we should get this but then none of the guys wanted to buy it for us either for our birthday or Mother's Day <laughs> so we didn't pick it up however I really wanted it and my mom wants it too so I got it. I got one with two um, growths, crowns, I don't know. I can split it, give one to my mom and keep one. Alright, the variety is called Frosted Dimples. I thought it was a really cute name and I really like how the leaf or how the stems are a bit more upright and how the leaves crinkle on the side and then the coloring is really nice too so I'm really happy about that and then finally over here I just got some things for pots um, there are a lot of my pots are gonna be planted up with vegetables I think this year but there are some things that I always get like petunias. My grandpa had, would always have a beautiful petunia display every year. Um, and I just, I really like them. They're cute. I love how delicate they are. Um, so I got this pretty pink one with the white edging. And then I got some little lo lobelia called Riviera Midnight Blue. And those will tra trail over 
a pot. I'm going to put one in with um, the Christian Honey and Black Dragon Coleus. The Christian Honey Dahlia and the Black Dragon Coleus. And I'll have one of them in the middle. Um, some of them will go in this little frog planter right there. And the rest, I think, will go in with some orange pelagonium that I have from last year. Okay, next I got this plant. Here, I'll just move it. These really neat blooms. It's called uh, Teren Terenia. Here's the front. I haven't seen it before. I don't, I'm not a big buff on annuals or house plants, but I guess that's how it goes. Um, and I thought it was really pretty. It's a trailer, trailing plants. Uh, I thought it'd be fun and hopefully um, the pollinators would be attracted to it because it has these open blooms. But I don't know because I don't know much about the plant. I don't know. And then I picked up a sweet potato vine called Blackie. And that's that's going to go with this. And I think this grass, which is called... It's called Chichu Cultured Red Fountain. And it is a perennial, so I can either plant it out in the ground for next year or leave it in the pot I think yeah so I thought this plus the sweet potato vine plus the t this terenia would be I keep not shooting at the plants I'm sorry <laughs> would but anyway those three would be a pretty combination maybe with a, a bright orange pelagonium this is the orange I have so that'll be really pretty um, so that's my little haul from the nursery. Uh, yeah. It's exciting. Not a whole lot, but fun and thought you'd enjoy seeing that. So I'll see you next time.